This video will walk you through how to calculate cost of goods sold per day, inventory days supply, and inventory turnover. Here's the requirement and data for our problem. Based on the following information, how many days of supply of inventory is the firm holding, assuming 250 operating days per year? Then we're asked to interpret the answer if the industry average inventory day supply is 30 days. We're given some basic financial statement information as shown in the blue box. Now we won't need all those numbers, just the ones relevant to our inventory calculations. So basically just the cost of goods sold and total inventory. Now before we can calculate inventory day supply, we must first calculate the cost of goods sold per day, which is the cost of goods sold divided by the number of operating days per year. So here we take 7.2 million in cost of goods sold and divide by 250 operating days to get 28,800 cost of goods sold per day. Now we can calculate inventory day supply or IDS which equals average total inventory divided by cost of goods sold per day, which we just calculated. IDS is equal to 2.6 million average inventory divided by 28,800 cost of goods sold per day to get 90.3 days. Now, even though we weren't asked, it's always good practice to calculate inventory turnover. So inventory turnover, IT, equals cost of goods sold divided by average inventory value. From the data, the cost of goods sold is 7,200,000 divided by the average inventory of 2,600,000, which equals 2.77 times turn, or roughly 132 days. That's actually pretty low inventory turnover. Now for the interpretation of our results. The day supply of 90.3 days, or basically three months supply, is over three times the industry average of 30 days. That's a lot of inventory. Clearly inventory management can be improved. We would also like to see higher times per year turnover which results in turning inventory more frequently in terms of days. Usually, low turnover, like we see in this problem, is associated with high inventory day supply. The more supply on hand, the slower it turns over. These results could be related to other internal issues as well, such as engineering problems or obsolescence requiring write-offs that would increase cost of goods sold.